This video will show you how to make a pattern for a truncated cone. Truncated cone can be used in anything from a uh, transition piece or uh, say if you're going to make a uh, roof jack for a steep roof that you can't buy a regular roof jack for. Sometimes you'll have a client with a steep roof that wants something built out of copper and this is the way to make a pattern for it. We'll show you right now. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to do a uh, truncated cone here. So, first I'm going to just get some dimensions. And let's say just for ease of sake, we're going to go uh, 5 inches at a base. Let's go 5, let's find the center. Let's say we're just going to take an arbitrary length of 5 inches. One, two, three, four, five. Again, if you can see this, you'll see that I have fade out graph paper. And I'm going to go just a two inch top here. Two inches, five inches high, five inches wide. Take these lines up, intersect them up at the top. Okay. My trusty compass here. Check it here. Okay. And I'm going to bisect this line here, bisect this straight up through here. Taking that same radii, which is right there, I'm going to bisect, divide this down the middle. This would represent half the bottom of this cone. All right, so now I'm going to take this line straight up, intersect here, up to intersect there. That one's done. There we are. And there we are. Okay, let's just pick an arbitrary angle. You know, whatever angle you want to have is fine. I'm just going to so this would be the actual shape, side view of the trunk, right? We could just say that. Side view. Okay. Now I've got this, I'm going to label these points. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So one, there's a length. Two, coming from here, I'm going to call all the way up to my point there and draw the line down to there. Okay, so I'm going to label these points. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm swing an arc all the way up here somewhere. It's a nice a long one. Shortest point will be up here. You do, if you draw by hand, you don't have one of these electric racers, man, they're worth their weight in gold. little side tip there. Okay, so now I'm going to take a length of this segment down here. I want to compare it to make sure they're all about the same length. That one's a teeny bit off. I like that. So I'm going to start out someplace. That's just a point here. That'll be point number one.
two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Again, using my trusty 0.5 millimeter. I come up from each one of these points. And each one of these lines corresponds to a length of one of those segments on your uh, truncated cone. One, two, three, four, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, remember this is half the base, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be half your base. So we're going to make a pattern for the whole cone here. Now I'm going to start transferring my line. I know my length one is right there and right there. That's the same length there. Now I want to find my uh, number two length. If you don't have a large compass, uh, go out and find one. They're hard. They're kind of hard to find. I think I found this on the internet. So I found my point two, all the way up here. My point two. All right. Now my point three. So three and three. My point four. And four. Five and five. Six and six. And last my point seven. And this will you this will work on any length. You know, if you have an angle this way or this way, doesn't matter. It'll all work. All right. Okay, let's connect the dots here. Starting on my one. Okay, that should be our template. Let's cut it out and see if it works. You know what I want to add here? I'm going to add a tab for connecting these together. Label that tab. Let's see what happens. And you can make these patterns, you know, on, on a kind of design thing like AutoCAD. But have, having the knowledge to do this, uh, if you don't know how to do this in this way, it's, it's going to be a little more difficult to do it on an AutoCAD. If you have the wherewithal to uh, know how to do this by hand, it's going to make your design work on an AutoCAD or a, some other similar drafting program a lot easier because just because you can turn on a computer doesn't know doesn't mean you know how to do something like this so knowing the actual fundamentals of this is really important to any kind of design work for pattern making again i've had clients come to me when i built homes they have a steep roof uh, they wanted everything in copper you cannot go out and buy this kind of uh 
truncated cone if you needed to make a roof jack for say a, a plumbing fixture or something coming through through the roof so we would do it by laying these out and maybe doing it out of copper if they if, if the client could afford it then it would be done and it would last you know the life of the house or longer okay so there you are there's the truncated cone pattern very similar to our that side pattern so there it is in 3d again a truncated cone i'll do a video too showing a flat bottom there it is thanks for watching